policies in India, I, for example, I would take a two-prong approach. Number one, I would convince our friends over at the Grameen Bank to take that 100 or 200 billion in reserves that they have, go into the futures market in New York, and start pushing commodity prices around in ways that favor India and the developing world instead of favoring uh, the, uh, these countries that are manipulating the market. So India needs a place at the table. Grameen Bank is obviously on the side of farmers. They've got huge leverage. They've got a huge reserves. Go into the futures market and start punishing those speculators that are ripping you off. Uh, second of all, uh, people in India should completely ignore intellectual property laws the same way that drug companies in India have told the major pharmaceuticals we're not going to respect your intellectual property laws because it's killing people. Well, these Terminator seeds by Monsanto and these other patented seed products by Monsanto are having the same deadly effects. People in India should not respect those laws at all because they're immoral, they're unethical, and they're fed by profits, monopoly profits that are used to change government policies. So you can't really stand up and say that they have any benefit at all except for those people who are the corporate uh, insiders who are benefiting from those products. So that's a two-prong approach. It's proactive. Forget the G8. They're just going to talk, 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 talk. You're still going to, as, as pointed out, the, the, uh, the damage is going to last generation after generation. I suggest a proactive approach. Well, if you thought this was just a food crisis, hopefully by the end of the show you realize it is so much more than that. You've got all that information from our great panel today, Joachim von Braun in Washington, D.C., Vandana Shiva in New Delhi, and Max Kaiser in Paris. Folks, thank you for your time, thank you for your thoughts, and thank you to our viewers for joining us for this edition of Inside Story.